Good day YouTube, I'm back for another video today with the vape channel and uh, I'm here today to talk to you about the black copper stingray. Um, this one I'm not 100% sure of the manufacturer, we'll get into that a little more when we go down up close with it. Um, I did hear rumors that it's a tobacco so might as well just carry on suit with all the tobacco uh, clones I've been reviewing. But anyhow, uh, yeah, let's uh, give her a toot and take it down and have a close look. Okay, so here we are with our boxed Stingray mod. And right off the bat, when I open the box, I do know that the real one and the Infinite clone come with... I do believe it's an 18350 tube, an 18500 tube, and a little extension that you screw on to make it an 18650. I do not believe that it comes with the full 18650 tube. So I'm not quite sure who makes this clone. Um, if anybody recognizes the box and knows the manufacturer, um, I was where I bought it, they didn't know. And uh, I went into another store today to purchase another Stingray for a friend of mine. And while I was in there, they sell this exact same device. And they did tell me that to their knowledge, it is a tobacco clone. So for now, that's what I'm going to roll with. If any of you out there know different, then please feel free to let me know. And I will make that correction. But for now, we're going to call it a tobacco clone. So you get your 18350 tube an 18500 tube and an 18650 tube you also get this matching matte black drip tip and uh, yeah that's about it it comes pre-installed in 18350 mode and uh, for this video I'm pretty much just gonna use it in 18650 mode because to be honest I don't even own an 18350 battery anymore uh, I would like to say first of all that the threads on this are absolutely buttery smooth, perfect. They're a dream to work with. So there's your 18350 tube disassembled. And we're going to put it into 18650 mode. Um, so the first thing that I've noticed is I watched I believe it was Todd's review of this and he was saying that when you put the locking ring on if you try and put it on the wrong way it won't thread this one in my experience you can put on either way and it threads just fine so I'm gonna call that a plus now the top cap has this floating center pin but I don't know if you just saw that so far that hasn't been any type of an issue but it's not spring loaded it's just free falling and nice and loose so you've got your stainless steel which I'm going to assume is 304 I haven't found any specs on these because as I said I cannot find the manufacturer but then you have the copper inlay and inside you have what I'm assuming is a silver plated brass post and that is your top cap and there is just like the uh, infinite clones on the edges of each of these ends of the the inlay here there is little grooves where you can get airflow through there so it is a vented cap now with the uh, the firing switch um, again from watching Todd's review the first word that comes to mind when I use this is hair trigger so I'm sorry if I'm stealing your your little catchphrase there for that Todd but no truer words were spoken this mod uh, it's definitely when you're going to want to lock when you're not using it because the switch throw in this is just yeah like two sheets of paper there's it's nothing um, the way this switch works 
is uh, you have this white piece of Delrin with your uh, contact right there and on the inside of that contact is a magnet and you have this adjustable pin here and on the inside of that pin is a second magnet and they just reverse the polarity and there's your, your springiness so if you take this firing pin out or sorry not firing pin but uh, your connection pin there we have a copper I don't even know what you want to call this piece but we have this copper uh, inside piece and then inside you have the outer shell of your switch and uh, just as a little beware note you have a pin inside much the same as what you have in a nemesis so if uh, if you're taking this apart you're gonna wanna have it over top of something cause I could see that being really easy to lose so we just line up that little hole there and then screw your, uh, your pin back in Oops. There's your switch. So, actually, hold that thought one second. Okay, I'm back. I, uh, I just had a, a thought to myself, and that was when I was using this thing, I remember thinking to myself, the way that a uh, flat top battery fits in there, I'm almost wondering if this is not suitable for a nipple top battery. Uh, I might be wrong. We'll all find out together here on camera. You know what? It just made a liar out of me. Okay, so anyhow, what we're going to do now is we're going to put in our 18650 battery. Screw our switch down. And I will say, sorry for uh, going backwards here. I also watched Vaping with Twisted 420's review of the Infinite Clone where he stated that this section where the threads are in here for your locking ring are not coated black. I would just like to note that these ones are. <clears throat> so, uh, however, I've had this for three days and I can kind of see in the reflection of the light where it's starting to, to wear down. So I don't think that would take too long to wear right away. But anyhow, as I said before, buttery smooth uh, sorry absolutely buttery smooth threads now I'm gonna screw my cues are on here tighten up our switch and uh, as far as this mod goes I like it it's a, it's a great hitting mod it performs great all my main problems with it boil down to aesthetics <clears throat> I've watched a few other reviews of different you know the stingray clones and the real stingrays and the first and foremost are these engravings I don't know how well you can see them but uh, they're they're not very deep and that word stingray is you can barely make it out but whatever it's still a solid performing device, but also there is no serial number on the back of this, which I could really care less about personally, but if you're uh, one of those people that likes to buy a clone and register it on one of those fake serial number forms or whatever they do, uh, you might be a little upset by that. You might want to go with the infinite. But uh, other than that, this is uh, it's a pretty solid device. 
and I'm pretty happy with it. And this uh, black drip tip, oops, black drip tip you get here, kind of just makes it, you know, completes the package. So anyhow, we'll take it up and vape on it and give some final thoughts on it. So there it is, the black copper stingray by. Like I said, we're just going to call this a tobacco until someone corrects me, because that is what I was told originally. Um, yeah, it's, you know, overall, it's still a nice device. I mean, it's kind of a shame about the engravings. I'm not too worried about the no serial number on it. Um, I did not mention this in the up close, but if you buy one of these and it's your first copper mod, just bear in mind that copper is a much softer metal, so when you're screwing on your top caps and uh, whatnot, you're going to want to be a little more gentle so uh, yeah you don't want to damage those threads but uh, in general no this is a nice mod it's hard hitting I can't complain about it I'm gonna try and be very gentle so I don't damage this finish I've seen some pictures where it it just doesn't look good after it's been dropped a couple times um, it hits great though I mean for as far as performance goes, I just, I cannot knock this thing. Um, we'll see if we can get a little patina going on the bottom of the switch here and whatnot. But, no, it's, it's a nice mod, and uh, I'm quite happy with it. I, uh, I did purchase this from a company called Butt Out in Vape, and they are local to me here in Barrie. Uh, I believe their website is buttoutandvape.com. If you try and go to that website immediately and it is not up and running yet, bear with them. I believe the store has only been open for about two weeks now. Um, <clears throat> they're still in the, the, the phase of building their stock and whatnot, but it's a nice little shop. And uh, they do have some mechanical devices in there, and they did tell me personally that they are looking to get a lot more. So... Uh, yeah, if you're local to Southern Ontario, it would be one more vendor worth checking out in my opinion. But uh, other than that, I'm going to uh, sign off on that note and uh, we'll see you back next week. I might post a video through the week uh, on a dripper or something, but if not, then yeah, I'll see you next weekend and play safe and vape on.